Boy Kitty, tell everybody about Fitness Foo. It's Fitness Foo time, right? You don't need Fitness Foo because you're always so lean and healthy. Yes. Yes. And you're a raw foodist too. Yes. Hey everybody. It's Fitness Foo. It's Sunday. Rebecca J here coming at you on this gorgeous Easter Sunday. And I just want to say happy congratulations. Wonderful. You've completed Andre's Revenge and now we're heading off getting ready to start up. Two days we're going to be starting up the uh, springtime challenge. I forget what it's called. But I think it's something about joining Bunny for 100 days or something like that. But we love Bunny so we're going to be here anyway. So, um, Sunday segment of the video here on Raw Foo is all about fitness. It's all about getting yourself in shape. It's about getting outside and moving. And I got a wonderful uh, email message this week from a Raw Foo member who asked me to do a video specifically addressing those of you who are not exercising and who might be a little bit afraid to start. How do you get started? What do you do first? And um, so I'm going to kind of ease my way into doing this today by telling you about my own big success that I had today. Today I did something that I was terrified to do. I actually rode my bike to Whole Foods, which is about a mile and a half, two miles each way. Um, but it's in traffic and it's on hills. And I've been scared to death to do this. And, um, and I've, I've put it off for two years. <laughs> That's how scared I've been to do it. And, um, and so my boyfriend, um, basically, I, I wanted a little treat from Whole Foods. And he said, sure, let's ride our bikes there. And he basically drew that line in the sand that if I wanted to get that little treat, I was gonna have to ride the bike. And so we did. And, um, and it was really scary. But I did it and I survived. Huge accomplishment for me. I did something that I've been wanting to do for a long time but was scared to do. And, um, and so for those of you who are afraid to get started on exercise, you don't know what to do, you don't know how to do it, there's all those challenges ahead of you that you just don't know what's gonna happen. You know, muscle soreness, fatigue, um, big scary gyms with equipment and stuff you don't understand, all of that stuff. Do what I did and get a buddy. And um, it doesn't have to be a professional buddy. It doesn't have to be someone who's right there with you, although it really helps. You know, I don't know how much longer it would have taken me to ride those hills and in traffic if I didn't have my boyfriend who is fearless about riding his bike ahead of me carving the way. So find someone in your world who you can buddy up with. Someone who's maybe already done it, maybe somebody who's starting out. It doesn't matter as long as they're going to support you and help you out. You know, and if it's doing something that's really scary to you, yeah, get someone who's got more skill, you know. As my boyfriend said to me, I need a lot of coaching on this whole bicycle thing. Anyway, but I'm better than him at swing dancing. Aha, which is something else, else that we started to do. So that's point two. You're scared to get started on exercising because you're afraid you're going to bulk up. You're afraid it's going to be hard. You're afraid it's not going to be any fun. Um, whatever it is. Think of something that sounds fun to you. So we started swing dancing. We go to class uh, two nights a week and then there's open dance afterwards. And, um, and we practice in the living room, which is kind of fun and romantic and, and, um, and it's fun, you know? So that's something to really think about. Um, another thing to think about for those of you who are afraid to exercise, I live next door to two little boys. And these little boys, as Bunny I'm sure can tell you, because they're about Bunny's son's age, they're just, they're, they're delightful. They're just little yard monsters. They're out all the time because their mom is a very smart woman and just kicks them out of the house. Um, so go out into your backyard and run around and scream. You know, um, play ball with, with your friends or with your kids or, you know, go to the playground get on the swings, get on the seesaw, whatever, play. I mean, because that's how little kids exercise, right? We don't see little kids, you know, getting up and doing sit-ups and boring stuff like that. They run around, they scream, they yell, they laugh, they cry, they, you know, they make up the rules as they go along. And you can do that too. The key is not to jump in and run a marathon your first time. Um, and so that's, that's gonna be the, the real point is, so find a buddy, Figure out something fun, get outside and play, make up the rules as you go along, and start slow. 
start small. You know, if you've never done any exercise at all and you're very overweight or you're very out of shape or both, five minutes walking one direction, five minutes walk back home. Do that twice a day, every day, until it's easy. And then you start to add one minute each way. And you keep doing that. Increase distance. Once distance is easy, increase speed. Once speed is easy, increase distance. Once distance is easy, increase speed. And you can keep doing that all the way, sorry, the cat just bumped the camera. You can do that all the way from walking, you know, walking a half hour mile, all the way up to running a two and a half hour marathon. Increase speed, then you increase distance. Then you increase speed, then you increase distance. Little by little is all you have to do. At the same time, you can start to add strength training, a little bit of, of resistance training, right? And same thing here. You increase weight, and then you increase repetition. And then you increase weight, and then you increase repetition. So you start with the maximum number of weights that you can do with good form, at least 8 to 15 reps, right? And then once you got that down easy, then you can increase the weight. You're going to increase the weight until you're back down to doing about 8 or 10. Once you can go all the way up to 15, you increase the weight. So you're gradually, you're never doing both at the same time. You're never increasing speed and distance. You're never increasing rate, weight and reps. You always start little by little, piece by piece. Make sure it's fun. Enjoy yourself. I'm going to have a lot more tips on how you can start exercising and what you can do to get outside and enjoy yourself in the uh, written section of this, but I just wanted to kind of share those few insights with you to get you started. Um, this was a um, recovery week for me on my P90X, so that meant that I wasn't doing as many uh, workout videos. I didn't do the official recovery week because I don't actually have those videos. Um, but, you know, I got to ride my bike, obviously, and um, went out on the bike a few times, and I did a couple of videos, so, um, doing great. I wish, you have to see this. Be fabulous. There you go. Be a fabulous kitty. So, that's boy kitty. He's a very special boy. Yes. He is. Boy kitty. Show your face. Show your face. So that's it here from Austin, Texas, here on beautiful Easter Sunday. It's time for new beginnings. It's spring. You're getting ready for your next challenge. Don't hold back this challenge. Get outside. Enjoy the weather. Enjoy your life. Move your body and eat your veggies.